Good morning, good morning. It's very slow today. Okay, that looks like it's done its thing. Hello and welcome to Friday the 25th of October. Um, and yes, <laughs> the moon is in Leo. And yesterday, oh my God, I had stuff in my teeth yesterday, so not today. All right. I just drew a um, Lindy Jewel card, the fucking honest oracle cards, and she says, chill the fuck out, and I love this because, good morning, how are you? Oh, I've got to click buttons because it's not doing its thing. There we go. Okay. All right, so this morning we have got a great day, guys. All right, so Lindy says, chill out, and I love this because, good morning, Alicia. Today is a feel good day. All right. We've had some, we've had some pretty prickly or, you know, more deeper topics coming up, but today we have the moon in Leo. Good morning, Steph. How are you? So the moon in Leo is proud and confident. Hi, Claire. How are you? Awesome. Yeah, it's a good day. All right. So the moon in Leo, like I said, proud, confident, you know, comfortable with standing up in front of people with its microphone and speaking its truth, all right? It is making a trine, good morning, Louise, to Venus in Sagittarius. Now, Venus has come out of her Scorpio um, experience <laughs> and she is like, oh, okay. So she's got into adventure mode. She's like, I want to travel. I've seen that darker side of life. I want to experience some joy, all right? So we've got the moon and Venus trine okay so that's a beautiful harmonious aspect it feels good all right so self-confidence self-worth all right now mars so that's at 9 a.m good morning sean how are you so so moon trine venus at 9 a.m at the same time mars in cancer which has been a bit problematic is sextile to uranus so changes unexpected sudden things good morning paulette it, and so that it, uranus in taurus all right so that's bright sparkly new ideas you know there is that extra layer of confidence and at the same time we still have this jupiter in gemini all right so knowledge abundance awareness feel goods morning deb um in gemini our thoughts good morning wendy how are you um and that they are both retrograde, all right? So Chiron, our old wounds, and but but those valuable lessons in life, all right? Oh, I survived that. I have more experience in Aries. I, me, confident, you know, young, feeling good, independent, authentic. So we've got the knowledge and awareness that we are healing. Jupiter, tro uh, sextile Chiron. Mars in Cancer, which has given us all those feels from the past, as well as Chiron, which is being ruled by Mars. All right, so we've had lots of, in the past, I have experienced this, all right? But Mars uh, sextile Uranus in Taurus is allowing changes of our comfort and security and values. Not so much our values, like our values are our values, but are our values ours? Or are they the opinions and things that we were given as small children? Um, you know, I, I'm specifically going to say that masculine influence of our early experience. All right. So Mars in Cancer, sextile Uranus in Taurus. That Uranus is being, good morning, Domi. Uh, that Uranus is being ruled by Venus in Sag. So as you can see, like there's just a lot of knowledge, awareness, um, confidence, feel goods, uh, I want to go on this adventure, I'm feeling good about challenging my own limitations, all right, Mars sextile Uranus, you know, Uranus has been, has been pushing our buttons for the last six years, six or seven years, and, you know, that Taurus stuff, you know, um, you know, what is actually making us comfortable? Mars in Cancer, where did we get that from? You know, are we just challenging the opinions of our forefathers? All right, that's another one. You know, now Mars is also trine Neptune. So he does want to escape a little bit. All right, he does have this, 
you know, it's Neptune. So we can either escape our reality or we can, we can ooze into our spiritual belief system. And then there's the opposition to, to Pluto coming. All right. So yesterday I was saying that, you know, the old systems must fail. They must be torn down. But that doesn't mean that it has to be an atomic blast where everything, even the good things, are destroyed. We can, with our knowledge and awareness, Jupiter, sextile, Chiron, we can be very specific and observant about the things that we need to remove that are no longer relevant and that aren't giving us the comfort, security, values and the good solid foundation that we need in this reality, our reality now. All right. So I'll go back to the words. So self-worth can bring you a great amount of gifts from the universe. When you think well of yourself, good things naturally come your way. Brilliant insights and deep realizations only solidify your inner knowing. It's all good, all of it. Everything has a reason and you get it. All right. So now another one with this one, especially because it's Uranus. Remember your antenna. Here we go. Make sure that your antennas are shiny. <laughs> you know, be that observant, you know, have that love for yourself where you, you know, that inner critic, inner observer, you know, allow that inner observer to comfort that inner critic. You know, like maybe that inner critic is just continuing that narrative. Blah, 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 blah. You're no good. You're blah, 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 blah. And the inner observer is like, no, oh my God, come, let me give you a cuddle. That's not your belief. That's blah, blah's belief. You know, like that Jupiter retrograde in Gemini is beautiful for being able to spiritually connect with the conversations that are within, all right? You know, like I use just keywords, you know what I mean? So maybe today... All right, so like I said, 9 a.m. is brilliant, you know. If you ha are considering trying something new, go for around the 9 o'clock mark where you've got the confidence and belief in yourself to just try something new. It doesn't matter how many times it takes it for you to get it right. You couldn't walk once. You couldn't ride a bike. You know, you couldn't paint a house. So there are plenty of things that you couldn't do once that you can do proficiently now. So have that confidence to try something new in the early morning. Now, between 12 and 5.30, the moon is in conjunct Saturn, all right? So Saturn is still retrograde, you know? So we're still, we're still observing our inner foundations, but that moon in Leo is the thing that is asking for the adjustment to be made. You know, so, you know what, you know, with an inconjunct, it's, you know, standing on that seesaw, trying to find balance, but you have to brace your core. You have to like, be like, uh, I've got this, you know, it's the slightest movement, the slightest brace of that core, like your core self that can help you find that balance. And um, I just, I just love that. So between 12 and 530, that's when that in conjunct is relevant. Um, now, after 1 p.m., there is a square to Mercury. I don't think it's too bad, actually. I think it's more like, you know, that Mercury in Scorpio is exploring some of these deeper topics. I think now it's around that 15 degree mark. Um, and it's really sort of getting to, the, you know, that bell curve. It has to go down before it comes back up again. And I think there are probably things that you are seeing and hearing within your own self that you're making the connection to, all right? The sun is now highlighting that, that um, you know, this shadow self month, this, uh, you know, this time of the year where it is time to work on your issues. You are being supported in the fact that you need to work on these things, all right? So, so I think that um, that square is more like a muscle building exercise where you are just doing the hard thing or challenging yourself because you know that there's benefits on the other side, all right? Think of those good glutes, all right? And then after 6 p.m., there is a trine to Chiron, all right? So, you know, that, that, moon saturn that goes till 5 30 
if you do give yourself the credit for being brave, trying the new thing, finding that inner strength, that trying to Chiron after six allows you to just again give yourself more credit for the for the healing that you're doing for the for the awareness that you have for the releasing of those old past patterns so overall i really really like this day um but you know like i said brilliant insights deep realizations and it so solidifies your inner knowing and your inner journey so now um lindy did say chill the fuck out because you know the last couple of days have been a little bit you know, where you're getting to the point of the realization that you're like, you know what work needs to be done, you know. And I mean, we're only two degrees into Scorpio. Good morning, Louise. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Woohoo. All right. Sorry. That was an automatic response. I see name, I will say. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's a good one. All right. So chill, chill out. All right. Just um, allow these good things to come your way. I'm going to go into a dream weaver because... Um, yeah, sorry about my, uh, I'm not sorry, but that was hilarious yesterday. I was trying to be serious and uh, talk about the psychosexual and Mick just had me in hysterics. <laughs> All right, so what card is going to summarize this narrative? Mm -mm 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 -mm. This one. Oh, as the weaver's way is true. I think we had this one just recently, but look at that. You know, this is definitely on the journey, isn't it? Like, the, you know, that horse, that horse. All right, it is card number 39. Trusting, blah, blah, blah. Trusting and surrendering to an essential partnership with the divine and reclaiming your magic. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. <laughs> the mythic story of the Dreamweavers invites us to imagine the purpose of these wise, benevolent beings working on our behalf, who represent the higher wisdom that governs our lives. So even if we really don't trust them or in any divine force, it means we believe only in our human will to make things happen that everything is on our shoulders to carry. If we can't see the hidden realms, they don't exist. Only what we see does. Even the idea of our higher self is reduced to a philosophical idea, ideal. Sorry. Effort then becomes primary, hard work, struggle, goals to achieve. A lot of people live this way. You don't have to. You know that deep down, you can only do so much on your own. You need the divine partnership to make your life work. You were born to reclaim your magic, your roots in the mythical ways of the world. Trust becomes essential to surviving and thriving. Oh, isn't that so true? Trusting that the universe has got your back is one of those most challenging things I... I I know this because I am I have been very challenged recently in my trust and my extraordinary faith in the universe. Yeah, oh awesome, Alicia. It feels like you were like ding ding ding. All right. Trust today, trust the way that is illogical, intuitive, perplexing, curious, and creative. This is the Dreamweaver's way, and it will always steer you into exploration and adventure. You will meet and befriend extraordinary people who will be your mystical companions. Just keep asking for a sign, and the next step will be revealed. Right now, your choice is obvious to your heart. Follow it and trust the outcome. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is so beautiful. And you know what? Last night when I was working at the pub, um, uh, I, 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 you'd never know. She might be here at some point. If you hear this, I really enjoyed meeting you. <laughs> so I got a phone call like so close to eight o'clock and, and the kitchen closes at eight and they were asking for food. And I was like, yeah, all right. No worries. That That's fine. Even though the chef had started packing up, I was like, yep, no, this is fine. All right. So they turn up. 
And I start talking to another lady about astrology and I see this woman turn and be like, you're talking my language. So I found a new friend that understands my language. And I really have been asking the universe for more like-minded people that understand me. And I mean, I know you guys understand me completely because you talk my language, but in the real world, because, you know, I'm quite isolated out here, you know, and, and that real world um, companionship is something that my soul has been yearning. And, you know, like the universe just was like, look, here's someone that is exactly like you. And it was just so beautiful. So I think, you know, that card sums it up beautifully is, you know, when you have that trust and faith and that ability to observe and um, critique rather than being critical and, you know, just um, understand the lessons that are happening to you and playing out. Um, it just gives you that wow factor when all the pieces fall into place. You know, I know that a couple of these things that I did today were these sex tiles, you know, the, you see the cogs turning in your world. And this has to happen so that this can happen, you know, like they're, they're all synchronous and they all turn with because the other ones are turning. So I hope that this is the type of experience that you are having. And um, yeah, I just hope you all have an amazing day. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Louise. And that's just, you know what, that's an expectation. You know, if I do the work, the universe will just you know do the work back so all right guys i will see you tomorrow yes let's do a weekend and i will do cards tomorrow i'm just going to keep the personal cards to saturday because then i don't post that to youtube so i think it's a little bit more personal so um so yeah see ya <laughs>